Your brain occupies only 5% of your body, but needs 20% of your blood supply to keep you functioning properly. Without that blood supply, things go wrong. I knew I was in trouble because the, I knew that the words were coming out garbled. I knew what I wanted to say. I was completely cognizant of everything that was going on around me. Uh, and I guess that probably was just part of the scary part of it. Stroke-like symptoms often last about 10 or 15 minutes, and they involve face, arm, and leg, or at least face and arm, some slurred speech, some loss of vision, or some difficulty getting words out. Those are telltale signs that the brain is under attack, and this is a time to take action. Uh, if you come to the emergency room quickly, there are often drugs that doctors can give you, which will break up that clot, clot busters, if you will, and stop the attack. And if we can stop that initial attack and then discover what's going wrong, we can avert a stroke. A stroke can be thought of as a brain attack, because just as heart tissue is starved by a heart attack, the brain tissue starts to die in a stroke. The results can lead to paralysis, loss of other bodily functions, or memory loss. A person has a stroke and, and can be absolutely devastating. Uh, the first leading cause of disability and the third leading cause of death. There are two types of strokes, ischemic and hemorrhagic. Hemorrhagic strokes occur when a blood vessel in your brain leaks or ruptures. The most common causes for this are uncontrolled high blood pressure, also known as hypertension, or a weak spot in the walls of the blood vessel, called an aneurysm. If a cerebral aneurysm is detected, it can be treated with a surgical clip to avoid a potential stroke. But more than 80% of strokes are ischemic, which means they're caused by a blockage of blood flow to the brain, sometimes when blood can't get to the brain, and sometimes when a clot travels from elsewhere in the body, usually the heart, and becomes lodged in the brain. The brain is a, is a wonderfully uh, vascularized organ, which means that it has lots of blood supply. It has two major arteries in the front here called the carotid arteries, often as big as your index fingers, and two smaller ones in the back, a little bit smaller than your pinky, uh, coming up to feed it. Doctors measure blood flow and determine if you are at major risk for a stroke with a variety of screening tools, like ultrasound, echocardiogram, angiogram, CT scan, MRI, blood tests, and physical exams. They can help prevent ischemic strokes with procedures like carotid endurectomy, which surgically removes plaque from the vessels in the neck, and angioplasty, which widens blocked vessels, and also with medication. Some people suffer stroke-like symptoms in the form of a mini-stroke, or what doctors call a TIA. The term uh, TIA, or transient ischemic attack, uh, traditionally, what it means is it's a warning attack of a stroke. It means that for a short period of time, a blood vessel has been blocked by a clot, or a thrombus as we call it, that that tissue has suffered lack of oxygen for a period of time. And then that clot has dissolved and blood has been restored and patients get better. A TIA is a wake-up call to take action. If you've had a stroke warning and don't uh, pay attention, there's probably a pretty good 20, 30, 40 percent chance of you having a stroke within the next year or so. Other factors that put you at higher risk are a family history of strokes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, obesity, diabetes, smoking, taking birth control pills, using illicit drugs like cocaine, and high stress. Controlling these risk factors with healthy lifestyle choices and medication are your best bet for avoiding a stroke.